Hello guys. Yeah, welcome. So I'm really excited about this small live as I've already told you. And uh, this live is all about asking that and exploring when uh, maximum likelihood estimator is equal to the method of moments estimator. And uh, yep, so let's I'll dive into that really quickly. So regarding, I will just uh, tell a little bit about maximum likelihood MLA and method of moments. And uh, uh, if you try to uh, recap what we have done, what you know rather, is that MLA and method of moments are two type of estimators, okay? Just like two type of estimators for a parameter. Okay, so let's revise small of a bit of them. Uh, so method of moment, maximum likelihood estimator, what does it do? It uh, you first compute the likelihood function and find then find the log likelihood function and then you differentiate it to find the corresponding uh, estimates, right? And here is a, a new step that we find the log likelihood and we find out this log of f of xi. That is a summation that will happen when you take for the data, entire data. And you do this summation, okay? Do this del del theta of this whole function L of theta and you equal to zero. And then you solve for theta. That's the step you all do, right, guys? And let's revise it once again. You first calculate the likelihood and then you calculate the log likelihood. And then exactly you calculate the, you calculate the likelihood for the entire data. And again, you take the log likelihood to get summation of all this, okay? Summation of log of f of xi. And you then differentiate it with respect to del of theta to get the parameter estimation, okay? That's what you do. And solve for theta. For multiple parameters, there are multiple such equations and you solve for theta, okay? That's exactly what we do in maximum level estimation. I have boxed this out just because to because this is the most important thing that you will find out now, okay? That will create the difference over here. That is the essential relationship. I will not give you a spoiler. Let's move ahead to the method of moments. Remember this, that box idea, okay? And for the parameter estimation, uh, for the estimation of parameters by method of moment, what we do is that we uh, calculate expectation of x to the power k. If we we could do to the Sample moments, okay. I mean, I'm uh, sorry. Uh, we can go to the sample kth moment, okay. The other moment, like one by n summation x i hold to the power k, and we could it and we get this another k equations for k parameters, another k equations for k parameters, and solve it corresponding to the theta, okay. That's exactly what we do for more method of moments estimator, right? Now, understand this very carefully. I have also boxed this out, okay. And I also box this out, and there is something really similar between this, okay. So what we did for maximum likelihood estimator, we calculate the likelihood for the combined data, and then we'll take log likelihood, and it, then we did the different, like we do del del theta for the number of parameters we have, and we say k parameters are there. So we have k equations that looks like this. And for method of moments, we equate the k moments, and we have this k equations that we have over here, okay? Uh, for the k parameters over there. Now there's something similar among these two box stuff, okay? There's something really, really similar. And that is what we'll explore now. What is really similar and what it is called actually. Okay, and that's the most important aspect over here. Now understand this. Let's uh, see, you know, look into the few examples where they are really same. For a uh, normal mu comma sigma square, the method of moments estimator and the memory estimator are same. For binomial n comma p, p estimator is same. For point show lambda, lambda estimator is same. For geometric, uh, Geometric is same. So it's like all of them are same. So there's something going on, something really interesting going on between them. And we'll explore that now. And there are also other lots of examples, exponentially, then other examples are there. One example for which it is no, it doesn't hold is uni is uniform theta. Okay. Uh, for uniform theta, you get method of moments ke liye two, uh, zero comma theta ke liye, you get two x bar, I guess. And for um, as far as I remember, and uh, for ML, you get the like the Xn, the highest order statistic, maximum statistic, like the highest stati order statistic. Okay, so uh, so that's where difference occurs. And also remember, the uniform is not an exponential family, so it can occur, like it can like give into difference. Okay, but we have a lot of examples where they are really same, exact. So what is really going on? That was my question, and I also told this to my students in my classes. Uh, that also think about it when it's really same. What is the really connecting point and while understanding this in more details for the first few days i was understanding something really interesting over here and that was this box do box position to box stuff okay that there's something really interesting and really common between these two box stuff and we will explore that 
and you must have heard about this this is something the common stuff about this is this is something called score function okay and this is what so my question is that why is there such similarity between mle and mmm why are they equal sometimes when are they equal what is the real connection between them what is the real connection between them that's my question now that's natural question to any inquisitive mind okay so and we explored and this is what we got for understand this is what we have now what we do we uh, have this k equations and we have this two estimators two boxed equations for maxwell likely estimator and mom estimator okay and there is something common between them and that is this see each of this underwala term is actually a function of xi and theta right here also function of xi and theta you can also multiply one by n on both sides and it will still remain the same so if you combine the both today something really interesting over this and the underwala function right? that is called one by n summation of i to n h of xi comma theta and that's the generalized framework i know what this is called this h is actually called the score function and what is really so special about h something that is really special about h is that in that this case score function this is actually expectation comes to be zero here also there is a famous result which you must prove yourself that expectation of that come out to be zero these are given as food for thought so these are zero okay you must verify this yourself and what what is h what is the beauty of score function what is really interesting about the score function that is an uh, another uh, content of uh, uh, that is another content of another video but i will tell you something about the score function score function is really interesting it's a really beautiful uh, result and idea that is that was developed by fisher uh, and it's really beautiful okay score functions if you just compute the score function i will just discuss in another video about the score function but score function is actually if you compute it just for binomial or binomial okay score function is positive if uh, the act, the estimate is more than the actual parameter and uh, score function is negative if estimate is uh, less than the actual parameter so score function is sort of a loss function you know in regression expectation of the loss function is actually not the loss function but square function but the standard deviation okay normal deviation is actually zero right and similarly uh, i mean the variance of the score function gives us information about theta similarly on the variance of the deviation uska expect like that gives a idea about the loss function right so the score function is a lot of things to do the loss function okay and it sort of gives an idea about how much information the uh, this uh, xi contain about theta that is the beauty of score function we'll make another video about it but let's understand the relationship between x h of x for norm for maximum likelihood estimator and method of moments estimate okay it's really interesting over here this is this is the point which is uh, which is the climax point uh this is the idea so i hope you understood both looks like the same both are functions of xi comma theta okay and we have expectation of h of x comma theta is equal to 0 and what we have over here we have let's calculate the score function for normal mu comma th sigma square okay we know for both i took this ex example deliberately because it contains two parameters so it will help you to understand more better so we calculate the score function for the mle first p s1 the first score from first parameter score function is d mu of log of that that is a definition you know this this is the score function h and we calculate it turns out to be x minus mu by sigma square and if we calculate the second score function for uh, d sigma square the second parameter ke liye it turns out to be 1 by sigma to the power 4 sigma square minus x minus mu whole square that turns out with the score function for normal for normal ml okay now let's calculate the score function you can calculate this okay you can stop this video and calculate this yourself okay this is this video is uh, this live is just for make you to understand how uh, interesting the idea is actually and let's calculate the mom score function the method of moment score function turns out to be h of 1 h1 of x comma mu comma sigma square which is the expectation of x like the first one x minus mu and if you calculate the expectation of x square part it will turn out to be x square minus mu square plus sigma square okay so these are not turning out to be same so what we can really do what is the real aspect what we are missing over here these are not same right these are not same the method of moment score function and the mle score function are not at all same so what is the problem over here but they still give the same result the beautiful aspect is that both are actually they are bijective function of each other so you can prove that that this h1 comma h2 is a bijective function of s1 comma s2 so if you get to zero it will give the same result as h1 comma equal to zero and h2 comma equal to zero h2 equal to zero 
So in fact, you can prove it. It's actually, it's actually, if you just write it down, it will turn out to be a linear combina, I mean, invertible matrix of, I mean, linear linear transformation of the S1, S2, okay? This H1, H2 will turn out to be. And you can prove it's actually a bijective function by taking the determinant and equate and seeing it's non-zero actually. And you can also find out when it's zero. Uh, so you can also prove it that it's zero when every sigma square is zero. I don't know, I, I can check it out. So you can prove it that it's actually a bijection. And this makes sense actually. And this is entirely the function that the two score functions of maximum likelihood estimator and the method of moments estimator are actually bijective functions of each other. And that's the only turning point, guys. Nothing else is there. If the two score functions and the bijective functions of each other, that's the only point. And you can even prove it for exponential, for geometric, all those stuff that are equal, okay? So this is really exciting, my exciting point that really made me like so uh, glad after I found it out. And yeah, this is so beautiful. I hope you enjoyed it. But before that, I will leave you with some food for thoughts as usual, right? The food for thought, first food for thought is that you must find out that prove that the expectation of the score function is both zero for maximum likelihood estimator and method of moments estimator. You must find out, which I will do in another video, is what is the intuition of the score function? Okay, what is the variance of the score function? What is the intuition of it? And the third part we will do was that you must think like, uh, there's something like uh, they, it's similar to if you calculate for this, as I told the uh, example for which the score functions are different or other the estimates are different, method of moments and MLE is uniform, which is not a exponential family distribution. Okay, so you can find out the maximum estimator and method of moments estimator for exponential family and find out when they're equal. And also, uh, you can prove it like, can you find out so you can equate this to right? You can equate this to. And you can equate this two in terms of, you know, you can equate this two in terms of the score function. And you can see, you can find a differential equation in terms of f and theta. So for one parameter exponent, for one parameter distribution, PDF, can you, it will be just x minus mu theta then. Can you find out a uh, score function? Can you find out the PDF, okay, of the, of those distributions whose two estimates are same? And in fact, maybe I, I guess it, I have not proved it yet. I think it will be exponential family. Okay, uh, because the log is there, so if you just integrate over it, it will become an exponential family. And in fact, it is in the same idea. Can you comment on the sufficient statistic? Uh, I believe that if exponential family, if the method of moments and the MLE estimates are same, the sufficient statistics will be summation of xi, summation of xi square, summation of xi to the power k dot dot. You can prove this, I guess, using this exponential family format. So for k parameters, this will be the sufficient statistics. In fact, the minimal sufficient complete statistic. Okay. If those two parameters, those two estimates are equal. So these are the three food for thought I have left you with today. And this is a really exci exciting result for me. So I thought of sharing with you. I hope you liked it and you enjoyed it. And I hope you can research about something more about it. Okay. And I see you in the next video. And till then, stay tuned and stay blessed. And don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned and stay blessed.